m mod echocardiogram of aorta and left atrium m mod is short for time motion mode x axis is time and y axis is motion of the structure being imaged familiarity with m mod echocardiogram is on the decline in the initial era of echocardiography it was the only modality available m mod echocardiogram at the aorta left atrium level showing the andro posterior movements of the walls of the aorta and the aortic valve opening and closing movements please subscribe to this channel for future updates click on the subscribe button press the bell icon after that for all updates measurements of the left atrium is taken in systole while that of aorta is taken in diastole the open position of the aortic valve has the shape of a parallelogram representing the movements of right coronary cusp and non coronary cusp The right coronary cusp is anterior and the non coronary cusp is posterior. The closed position of the aortic valve appears in this image as two parallel lines. Left atrial dimension is more in systole than in diastole due to the movement of the aorta. In the fully open position of the aortic valve, the separation of the two leaflets give an indication of the cardiac output. Poor opening excursion will indicate a low cardiac output. excursion of the walls of the aorta also give an indication of the cardiac output thickened leaflets with poor opening excursion occur in aortic stenosis usually the aortic diameter and left atrial diameter are of similar magnitude so that when only one is abnormal we get an idea of left atrial enlargement or aortic root dilatation at one glance but this does not hold good when both diameters are altered M mode measurement of aorta will be lower than two dimensional echocardiography measurements made at the aortic sinus of valsalva the measurement can be indexed to body surface area an aortic diameter of 2.1 cm per m2 on 2d measurement at the sinus of valsalva can be taken as the cut off limit when looking for aortic root dilatation in conditions like marfan syndrome this value has been shown to have a specificity of 98% systolic fluttering of the aortic leaflets can be seen when there is subaortic obstruction which causes a jet to strike the aortic valve from below in this situation the valve is pliable and moves well as it is not involved in the disease process systolic fluttering of the non coronary cusp along with that of the posterior aortic valve has been described as a sign of mitral regurgitation due to dysfunction of the posterior mitral leaflet presence of systolic fluttering of the aortic valve has been proposed as a screening test to exclude severe aortic stenosis the reason given was that a thickened non pliable valve in severe aortic stenosis cannot flutter but this view has been contested by other authors here are a couple of references for this topic Here are two more references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.